There is no substitute. Human health depends on a lifestyle in accordance with the laws of nature, and it is precisely the laws of nature that govern the life of the human species, which, when not observed, have kept humanity sick at levels above 90% of its populations worldwide. According to the scientific theory of food patterns that we have been proposing to explain why the most intelligent species on planet Earth is also the sickest, the reason is simple. Our species is biologically herbivorous. It should consume food as nature provides it and only from fresh, raw and organic plants. There is no substitute. The National Institute of Public Health of the Mexican Ministry of Health has revealed that 93% of the total population is ill, of which 50% are hypertensive and 80% have partially clogged heart arteries and most of them do not know it. And it also continues to be the first cause of death worldwide and nationally, due to the consumption of foods of animal origin, whose fats obstruct the heart and brain arteries. The origin of diseases began about 10,000 years ago when in different parts of the world, almost simultaneously, humans developed agriculture and the use of fire for cooking, and soon, the large herbivorous animals came to eat the tender plants of cereals and legumes, which was used to keep them in pens and they were also domesticated, as they were the sacred animals that shared the heavens with the gods, which we can observe in the Egyptian temples. So it is not strange to see gold sculptors of the bull and the cow, both sacred to this day in the Indian cultures. Agriculture, livestock and the use of fire for cooking solved the main existential problem of all animal species, to get food every day. Homo, as a herbivorous species, was culturally transformed into an omnivorous species, Homo nomad, who walked or trod 10 to 50 kilometers to collect food, became sedentary, and developed rural life. Then the big cities, and multiplied to such a degree that now the human species is the worst plague of planet Earth, and its industrial activities have closed to collapse the ecosystems. All the water, all the land, and all the air on the planet are dirty and full of pollutants that make us all sick. In addition, with climate change already melting the ice at the poles, every year that passes is the hottest in the history of humanity and the current governments continue with a suicidal attitude to these facts, signing agreements that they never fulfill. Already close to 8 billion human beings on the planet has forced food technologists to provide food for a growing demand, but with the wrong food. Milk formulas for human babies are forbidden in hospitals in Mexico because human milk has no substitute. Cow's milk is designed only for calves. It even includes components of the immune system that only serves the calf and that always provoke an allergenic response in humans, producing a lot of phlegm in the entire respiratory system of humans, and that phlegm is a breeding ground for the most diverse microbes. All fruits and vegetables that are subjected to freezing temperatures cause the naturation of all antioxidants such as beta-carotenes in carrots, which are reduced from 6,800 units to 10. There is no substitute for organic food for the human species. Only fresh, raw, organic fruits, vegetables and oil seeds as provided by nature. The consumption of foods of animal origin, especially processed foods such as sausages, as well as canned foods and refined and industrialized, fried or baked plant foods, such as all bakery and junk food, are the food groups that cause the leading causes of death globally and nationally. Cardiovascular disease, diabetes, cancer, obesity and many others. There is no substitute for fresh, raw and organic plant foods and much less for the industrial foods of the absurd omnivorous model. Absurd because it is maintained knowing that it is the main cause of all diseases, as the Mexican official standard, the good eating plate, in force without modifications since 2006. The current foods consumed by the populations of large cities worldwide 
are almost all processed and refined and almost all produce a slightly acidic pH if they are of plant origin, such as bakery and junk food, or very acidic if the foods are of animal origin, such as sausages and salted and aged cheeses, or fatty, such as butter and margarines. Either we return to a natural diet, or human societies are doomed to live sick at levels above 90% of their populations, that is the main mistake of modern humans. Fresh, raw, organic plant-based plant foods have no substitute. Let alone if we continue with a grown dietary model as the omnivore model turn out, the herbivore model has no substitute. Microbes such as the fashionable virus only reproduce if they are acidic conditions in the organism. If human societies revert to the herbivore model, the alkaline conditions it produces will prevent the reproduction of pathogenic microbes